Welcome back to Factory Town, folks. We are making good progress. We have upgraded our base to level four, and we can now upgrade our houses, at least some of them. There we go. And we should actually upgrade them to level four as well. We can also build four more houses which is cheaper but we're kind of running out of space here i suppose we could build a path up here something like that and then just build four more houses okay and let's build a path in here as well. Okay. Well, that's four more houses. Let's upgrade them. All right. So now the food market is max tier four, which is great. Okay, and how is our research going? 80 out of 100, we need more red coins. Let's grab another worker and tell him to bring planks down here to the general store. Just so we get a few more. A few more red coins going so that we can get this research done. Maybe we should actually just use a wagon. That would be faster. Let's do that. Wagon. don't know that we are producing enough planks to justify that, but we have quite a few stored up, so it'll be fine. And the research is up to 85, right? So we do have quite a few stone bricks stored up. So we need to start planning out our actually actual town and it's going to be over here somehow somehow so we'll have our base in here have our castle down this end i think and then we'll have the town out in this area yeah I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. It is the plan. So we're going to need to do a lot of terraforming, unfortunately, and that costs quite a bit. Um, costs red coins. So we need to make a lot more red coins. A lot more red coins. All right. And we need to move, remove a lot of resources as well. But that's also okay. Yeah. All right. So how are we going to do this? First, let's... Remove some coal and stuff. It is expensive to do. But it has to be done. Alright, intermediate logistics, which gives us a splitter. And we have unlocked advanced logistics. So what's the next research? I think it's forestry. 
which will put a drain on our yellow coins, but it will save up on our red coins. Splitter in there. All right, this can now go away. And you two grab and go over there. Anyone confused? I think this guy's a little bit confused. Right. We don't need that many doing this. Four should be more than enough. Alright. So we're getting red coins built up a little bit now, and we're probably draining our yellow coins. But the forestry is basically done already. Which is nice. And then I think... We'll go metallurgy next. And after that, we'll take a little break from research to build up our money. Okay. So. Oh, that was quick. Research forestry done. Let's do metallurgy. And then we're done with research for a little while. For a little while. Right, we can upgrade some of these houses. Which is good. How many cloth conveyor belts do we have stored up? see uh, where is our shared inventory we have 44 cloth conveyor belts that's pretty good pretty good All right and let's see how many houses do we actually have down 16 so i'm thinking that in our uh, village here We'll have four markets, four general stores, four of all of the different uh, markets or stores here. Uh, because that would mean that each four would need to supply 25 houses. And I think that's fine. That should be enough to get up to max tier 5, which is what we want. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Let's upgrade this one as well, and this one. All done. Alright. So how are we going to do this? We need to remove all of this stuff before and this stuff before i want to start moving so what else could we make we haven't unlocked kitchens yet have we we have we have actually unlocked kitchens so that changes things a bit that changes things a bit because that means that we could, for instance, make... Uh, where is it? Uh, veggie stew? Which would make us 24 yellow coins. So all we need to do that is some tomatoes. Uh, let's put down a kitchen. Put it down here for now. And say... Veggie stew, we need tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, and fuel. So let's just delete you and you. Because then we can get potatoes from there for now. We can't get carrots from anywhere. Well, we can from over here, but that's a long way away. And tomatoes are over there. So we would need a farm. Let's build a farm. Uh, let's 
build it over here and say you need to make carrots, potatoes, and tomatoes. And then we need to put down some farming tiles. Ooh, we need fertilizer for that. Uh, let's see, you have fertilizer in you, right? Yeah, we you do. So let's build a barn. We'll just build it here for now. And get a guy to bring fertilizer over there. Right. So we're making fertilizer and storing it up, which means that soon we can start our farming adventure here. Expensive though. All right, so let's just get a little more fertilizer stored up. We could actually just stick down another dude to pick that up. Get it going a little bit faster. All right. Let's speed you up. Okay. So let's put down some farm tiles there and some farm tiles there. For now. We'll live with this, and we'll plant carrots, we'll plant potatoes, and we'll plant tomatoes. Okay, let's move our kitchen over here and have a wagon no actually you know what let's build a chute to come over there we need three chutes and we will put in the grabbers one for the tomatoes one for carrots and one for potatoes okay and then we need fuel which we'll get by sticking take two guys down and grabbing wood actually i'd rather have you grab wood from over there all right so that's fuel going these just need to grow, then that'll be good. And then we need a wagon. We don't have any wheels. Why don't we have any wheels? They're all over there. Do we have wheels in the workshop? Nope. We don't have... Hmm. You know what? You stop that. We are making wood wheels, but not a lot. Because we need more. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, let's pick a couple of workers down. Grab you. Grab planks, go to the workshop. Right. So that should increase our production. Oh, here we go. We are producing. We are making our very first veggie stew. So for now, we'll just tell a guy to pick up veggie stew and sell at the food market.
All right. Let's see, can we put down a few more farm tiles here? And this is carrots. Uh, carrots. And potatoes. And tomatoes. What? What? Tomato. All right. So that's good. Speed you up a little bit. Do we have wood wheels? Nope. We really need wood wheels. We really, really do. And that guy is picking all of them up. All right. You guys, grab veggies too and bring to the food market. Okay. So that will help our yellow coin production quite a bit. And how is this looking? It's at 66 out of 100. All right. So veggie stew is good. Still have a dude picking up potatoes here. Don't do that. A waste of time. So we need to produce a lot more, but it's fine. Why are the tomatoes so slow? Are the tomatoes slow? They feel slow. Well, I'm not sure they are. But look at that. 419 yellow coins. That's good. All right. So we have a little production chain going here. And we still don't have any wood wheels. All right. So I think we need to set up a bit more organized production than we have right now or having this stuff in the city and stuff like that isn't practical so what we could do is uh, let's see i want a barn and I want a lumber mill and want another barn. The lumber mill will be making planks. Then I want a workshop. Which will be making wood wheels. Then I want another barn, I guess. We don't have any coins, really. Just remove these. Well, we don't have any red coins. We have plenty of yellow coins right now. So we want another barn. There. And then I want Cloth conveyor belts going like that. And I want some workers. Grab wood, bring over there. All right. So the lumber mill is making planks and that definitely needs to be sped up 
and then he is making wood wheels and they're going in there all right so then the next thing would be to make actually move all of this over here somehow we do have grain And then make cloth conveyor belts over here for our own purposes and also uh, wagon wheels, wood wheels. But now we do have the ability to put down a couple of wagons. We tell them to grab veggie stew and bring to the food market, which means that you, for instance, don't need to do that anymore. Come on, there. And you don't need to do that anymore. And you don't need to do that anymore. And you don't need to do that anymore. Come on, go. All right. All right, metallurgy done. So steam power, railways, machinery, and boat building, which we definitely want. But I think we'll hold off for a little bit on more research, just a little bit, because we need, we need the metallurgy to get the iron plates. And that is going to be the next project. So what if we built a forge something like here okay lamp post unlocked and we want to make iron plate and that means we need a couple of workers on iron and a couple of workers on wood or fuel and then we need a barn and cloth conveyor belt and that has us making iron plate i think we need a couple more guys on grabbing iron all right So now we are making iron plate, which means that soon we can upgrade our base again. Once we get enough coins, that is, and that's going to take a while. I think. But... I suppose we'll have to live with that. There's one of oh, they're going to the workshop. Is no one going down and selling here? No one bringing planks down there? You are. Okay. And we are actually going down on planks. This is full. No one grabbing planks out of there. Uh, workers, wagon. You grab planks out of there and bring to the. All right. That's better. And our red coins are going up slowly. But they are going up. So what we could do is upgrade some houses some more. What else could we make? We could make... Make a shirt. I mean, we have plenty of cloth.
So if you grab cloth and bring over there, and then you grab shirts and bring down there. That'll help some. gets us quite a few more red coins. We already have quite a few of those, so we're basically just waiting for red coins. So I think this worker picking up shirts... Where is he? Where's the shirt guy? There he is. I think we'll swap him out with the wagon. Tell the wagon to bring shirts down there. Okay. Oh man. Let's build a path around this way as well. So. That's red coins coming in a lot faster than they did before. A lot faster. I hate that he has to go with a long way around, but it is what it is. We're we're making coins. It is because we are not organized at all right now. But we will be very soon, very soon. We have quite a few wagon wheels, wood wheels, so that's nice. Right. It's so weird. That, does it need more tomatoes? No, it needs just as many tomatoes as... as do tomatoes take longer to grow? I suppose maybe they do. Let's put down some more farm tiles here, or tomatoes, plant tomato, so that hopefully helps a bit. We could upgrade some houses, you know what, let's do it. that will increase the rate that everything is consumed and that will help us out all right all houses are now level four and you are at 64 of 100 good And we are consuming the shirts a lot faster now. Or we should be. Now they are only tier 3, right? Yeah. They're only tier 3. But it seems like we're just about keeping up with demand. So that's good. Alright. And we are almost at our red coin mark, where we can upgrade the base. Well, one more shirt and we're there. There we go. Base level five, new research available, medicine, and another four houses unlocked. Excellent. That is going to be it for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.